So there we are in resources, views, and companies folder. We're in index.blade.php. We're trying to create a list of um, companies. So first of all, I'll have to write the HTML to display the list of companies. Then I will retrieve the list of companies from our controller. If you look at our index controller, we've already um, retrieved the list of companies and passed it into our view, this view. We're going to retrieve it from here. Well, first of all, I want to go to Bootstrap. <clears throat> so you get to bootstrap.com. If you get to Bootstrap, oops, um, hold on a little. If you get to Bootstrap, get bootstrap.com, you click on Components, and then we can now go and look for a very cool company to use. Uh, for me, I will just look at um, this basic example or this group. So panel heading, panel with panel heading. Okay. I think um, something like this could, could be cool for us. So we'll just basically take one of them. Just to display uh, what we want to display. So we copy this because it has a heading and um, a content. It, it is just HTML. I would have as well typed it out by myself. So I'll just paste it here. Then that's not all. In the body, if you see, uh, if you know Bootstrap, you should understand what is happening here. So basically, this is the heading and this is the body. And then this is the heading again. And then this is another body. So I'll just delete one of them. Then in the body here, I will now put something uh, that will help us have a list. So I will just come and um, look at list group. Inside list group. So something that, like this would be cool for me. Something like this. So I will just take a list group. And then put it there. Okay, so what we should do now is to actually uh, view this page on our browser just to be sure that this is cool. Then we'll write the code to actually display the list of company. All right, there we are. Just visit. Um, remember that your server should be running as you can see here. Uh, you type PHP artisan serve, make sure that your server is running. Then you come to your browser, you type the URL that it gave you in the command line. If you look at mine, you see that mine is HTTP. Just copy HTTP. Um, 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 that is the port so if you don't type 127.0.0.1 you can just type localhost colon 8000 then your app should pull up and as you can see this is the code we just wrote so I'm just going to show you this is it panel heading with this so uh, but there's a problem as you can notice that uh, you know Laravel is built on Built, built with bootstrap twitter bootstrap and we've copied bootstrap code and pasted here but it looks like normal html is not formatted in the bootstrap way that is because laravel uh, has not connected this our uh, index page with the main page so if we go to our layouts folder we'll see that there is an app.blade.php that is the main page so if we scroll up we'll see that it, it has html hedge tag and then it has body tag inside the body tag it has app and then all the codes then it has html at the bottom it has a javascript and then um somewhere in the middle here so this is the navigation though uh this the whole of this from here is the navigation that's the top navigation but then here is saying yield content so it's expecting the any other page that you're visiting in this app to be inserted here so Laravel automatically pick the HTML of that page and insert here. But then we have to go to that page we're working on, which is this, and then tell it that it should insert itself into the app blade and this portion of the app blade, all right? App.blade, all right? So we're there. At the bottom here, at the top here, we're going to do something. We're going to write a code that will do exactly what we want. We're going to tell this guy that, hey, you extend, you are just an extension of a file inside layout folder called app all right so inside layout folder the file is so it's called app will not put dot blade all right so this file this code now knows hey i'm an extension of something and then we will now tell it something else 
We will now tell it which part of the app.blade.php to insert itself. So if we go to our app.blade.php, it is the content part. You understand? So we can now, or content section. So we can now say at section, the section we're talking about is called, is named content in app. If you go to app, you will see a section called content. That is where you will insert yourself. Which means right here, we'll now say um, end section. End section. Okay, um, this pretty much sorts our problem. So, quick recap I hope you understand what just happened here. We're basically telling this page index.blade.php that you should copy everything in between this, go to layouts.app, and paste it in the in the content section so which means in layout.app we could have more than yield content we could have um for instance yield whatever or yield menu let's say menu for instance so um, and this yield menu will be somewhere in the code let's say somewhere here so if we had if we had come here and told it that the section that we're talking about is menu it will now insert the rest of the code inside this into the wherever it says uh, yield menu in app dot uh, blade all right so let's go back and um, refresh our page again and see whether it what we did just work keep your eye on this so here's what we have we have panel heading we have um, the rest of the panel body and then uh, that's it and it's uh, on our page but what i want to want you to know is that if you try to refresh this and it's not going through just up go to your server open it and type any random keys on your keyboard just a uh, space bar just type any random keys on your keyboard your server will wake up this server has a um has a habit of sleeping so if your server sleeps just type random keys on your keyboard it's wake up then your your browser will be able to load so if yours is loading too much or too long just type keys and make sure you're online um because i think the bootstrap the bootstrap imported is from okay yeah um, it's not online so you're okay you can you can it can work offline all right um what else we can do is from the next video we'll style this properly make it to center in the middle of the page and then we this we will change this to list of companies on our database thank you see you in the next video